Hello everyone, this is Irish Neko. How are you doing today? It's sort of a random day today. I don't really have a script for today, but I did want to get a video out. So, hi. I'm slowly learning how to not speak with a question mark at the end of every sentence. But today I have a sketch video today. I took my own advice from the last video and I just did the sketch video today of my new Wendigo piece. This is just Wendigo and in the background he's got a couple of cool things that sort of represent him in a sense. And the reason I'm doing this is so the video won't be so fast that it will make people's heads hurt. I haven't gotten any complaints or anything, but I know that when I watch videos that are really fast, it really, it goes so fast that my head hurts and I can't watch it, which sucks. So this one's a little bit slower, a little bit shorter. And what I'm doing is I'm actually taking those skull pictures that I found on the internet. I looked up deer skull pictures and I'm just referencing them so I can get his head sort of right and it's not some weird dog looking skull instead of looking like an actual deer skull which is how I want it to be. I'm also referencing some old pictures I've done of Wendigo or Wendigos in general just to get an idea of how I want his body to look and so that it can be consistent when I draw him so it can be consistent from when it was how he was drawn in the past. I do apologize if there are a lot of likes or ums in this video. I do try my best not to do that because it was pounded into my head not to do that in speech class and marketing. But if I do, I do apologize. So Wendigo is my character from my Witch in the Wendigo series. He's one of the main characters. Now Wendigo is not necessarily a good character. He's funny. He can be quote unquote good, but he's mostly a evil character. He is the dark side of the two characters in this story. He's what pulls Nora into these situations that her being a rather good person would never put herself into. Same with her. She has to pull Wendigo out of these situations and put him in good situations that he normally wouldn't be a part of. Some of my next videos will probably be inking and coloring of this piece. I also am still working on the tutorial. I I know I want to do a Lazy Nazumi tutorial on how I ink digitally, but I think I also want to do a lot of other tutorials like how I draw heads, how I draw hands, how I draw bodies. It's sort of the basics so you can get an understanding where I'm coming from when I draw, or if you really like how I draw, you can learn to draw like how I do. My videos are probably going to be even later than I normally wanted them to be. I, uh, I recently got a new job. I got a job with a craft store, which I am flipping tables I'm so excited about. And I'm not going to name it just in case. don't want anyone coming after me. But I got a job with a really well-known craft store. It's been amazing so far. I love just being in there. And the people are really cool too. But I will be working like 25, 35 hours there. Plus, I still have a day that I work at my old job at the uh, food place. Just because I need a little bit of extra money. Christmas is coming up. Yule is coming up. And I need extra money because my birthday is coming up. It's not until January, but... I need to save up because I'm going to be taking myself and possibly uh, taking my friend, my dearest friend Katrina with me to go to Iceland. So I need to save up a lot of money for that. 
and uh, normally I would be doing commission work, but I haven't gotten any commissions lately, so I actually need to go actually do a, you know, hourly job. But until then, uh, please enjoy the rest of this video. It's just me sketching everything out, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to, you know, check out my rest of my videos, and please leave a like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear any suggestions you have, any ideas you have. And, um, yeah, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye.